Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In today's My Listing Q&A, we'll be covering how to add a price slider to your website. Uh, this question came in from a member in our Facebook community, and uh, I'll be covering uh, the answer to his question in this video. So let's say you go to an Explore page. Uh, here we are on the My Listing Club sandbox. And we want to add a price slider in here to, to say, like, maybe to separate or filter out different uh, service providers based on their hourly rate or whatever. Um, so here we have the three listings and test listings in here, and we don't have any way to sort by a price. So that's what we are going to uh, solve in this video. Okay. So if we go and we edit our listing type, the first thing we want to do is add a field. We're going to add a custom number field. So under create a custom field here in the listing type, and we look for number and we just click on that to add it in there. And we'll call this price. Uh, we'll call this uh, cost of services, something like that. Hourly rate. We'll call it hourly rate. That sounds good. Okay. We're going to leave everything everything as default on that for now. We're going to jump over to our search form, advanced form, where you're going to add the range filter in here. And let's edit that and let's call it price range. All right, and we're gonna set it to use the field, our hourly rate field that we just added. We're gonna use the range slider and we're gonna say here by default, we're gonna step in $1 increments, okay? Um, you can obviously adjust that to whatever you need, but for the purposes of this video, we'll just leave it as the default and we will update that. Now we need to go edit our listings and specify rates within those listings. So for this one, we'll put uh, $50 an hour. And this one we will do 65 an hour. And this one we will do $90 an hour. Okay. Now if we refresh our Explorer page, we should see a price slider. There it is. So what this is saying is based on the three listings here that are shown on our Explore page in the viewable area, um, these are our price ranges. Got one listing that starts as low as 50 and one is 90. So we know the one in the middle is $65 an hour. So if we start sliding this down, we automatically the, our highest price is gonna drop off. So when we slide this down and we move below $65, the other one is gonna drop off. There we go. So just that simple, you can add a price range slider to your website. Uh, I hope you found this useful and have a good one.